will probably be one of the most important videos I've ever put out. Did you know that the United States of America, as you know it, no longer exists? And I don't mean this theoretically. I mean this as in on January 10th, 2023, while no one was paying attention, Joe Biden signed away our sovereignty as a nation when he met with President of Mexico, Manuel Lopez Obrador, and Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, in Mexico City to sign the Declaration of North America. You can find the release on the White House website, wh.gov, which ironically, right now, has a photo on the front page of these three individuals I just mentioned. I'm sure once this goes out to the masses, they will reconsider being so obvious and bragging about what they've done. They've completed what their plan has always been, the North American Union, a declaration separate and outside of the Constitution. Their intentions have been to further give away American interests to organizations like the World Health Organization. It is what some people call globalism, a single market, a single regulator, a single currency, a one world government. It is critical that people in uniform, including law enforcement and military, understand that they are no longer employed by the United States of America. They are becoming mercenaries, working for a non-sovereign who is paying them to control us and stop us from securing our rights, freedoms, and borders. Unfortunately, they know that only a small number of Americans will read the declaration, yet it spells out their intent of the role of government in all of our lives. Maybe I will read it to you in a future video, but here are some things that you need to consider. One, if you have no country, what rights do you have and how does one assert them? Two, what does the oath of office mean if your country no longer exists? Three, if you're fighting for your country and your country no longer exists, who are you fighting for? Four, if selected, non-elected people are making policy that destroys our country, then how and why are we supporting their efforts? Five, who are we paying taxes to and why? Six, if you're abiding laws that never went through the legitimate process of lawmaking like this declaration, then what are you really doing? Seven, if there are people that can take our livelihood through arbitrary rule like COVID lockdowns, then what else can they take from us? Eight, if you were coerced, fooled, or forced to take the gene mutating agents, what rights did you have? Nine, what rights do we have now and moving forward? 10, what are we going to do about it? I can assure you that if you succumb to and abide by the replacement of a highly portable and recognized medium of exchange, i.e. cash, with central bank issued digital currency, then you will lose any ability whatsoever to control any single facet of life other than its end. How do we protect ourselves, our families, humanity, and its future from what is to come. The next pandemic is already in the works. How will you respond? Their motto is Ordo Ab Cao, order from chaos. Please think carefully about not falling into the trap they've set awaiting prey. This is extremely troubling and there is no help on the way. We must work together to save ourselves. We must work together to safeguard the American dream, the constitution, our freedoms and our future by ensuring the resilience and security of our Republic. We must leverage us, the American people, our involvement, experience, expertise, our community leaders, governors, and elected and non-elected public servants. We can no longer ignore social, moral, and political collapse occurring right in front of us. Believe what you see, not what you hear. We must move our political discourse from the emotional to the logical and practical to resolve the subversion of our Republic via our own systems, education, governance, justice, and national security. I will continue to put out more information about this, but keep seeking truth. Don't get distracted. Nothing else will matter if they take everything away from us. Keep being vocal. We've been silent for way too long. We must work together to help restore America. Thanks for listening.